Good morning, everyone. My name is Specialist Kochman, and today I'll be conducting a class on the practice of noise, light, and litter discipline. This is in accordance with FM 7-8, referencing STP 21-1-SCMT um, TAS 071-COM-0815, and this is a skill level one task. The overall risk assessment is low. Please be aware of the coffee pot over there. It is hot and you do have the potential of burning yourself. There are also outlets scattered throughout the room. Uh, do not put anything unnecessary in them. You do have the potential of getting electrocuted. There's also bags that are kind of laying around the room. So you'll want to be situationally aware and avoid um, tripping over them. Also, there are cords throughout the room that have the potential of being a tripping hazard. Plus, you also want to avoid the lights that are hanging on the ceiling. Um, those have the potential of electrocuting as you as well, since they are plugged into an outlet. Um, it is also very important to sign in. Um, on the sign-in roster uh, right here. It, um, it is essential that you sign it so then you can get credit for this block of instruction. And before we get started, we'll do a PCI check to make sure everyone has a pen, paper, a cap, and make sure we have a tape, a flashlight, like so, um, our canteen cup, I do not have my canteen cup, so we're going to use my water bottle. And either a wet weather top or a poncho. I do not have my poncho with me, so we're using a blanket. Uh, to begin training, uh, the conditions are uh, you are a member of a mounted or dismounted element conducting a tactical mission and have been directed to comply with noise, light, and litter discipline. Enemy elements are in your area of operation. Standards prevent enemy from locating your element by exercising noise, light, and litter discipline at all times. For this training, you will be evaluated individually, and you must receive a go on all three stations. I will demonstrate the training to you and then let you practice afterwards. Practice your skills on your own, and then you'll perform individual, individually for evaluations. Uh, does anyone have any questions at all? No? All right, perfect. So let's get started. Uh, to begin, we'll cover noise discipline. Um, so what are some noises that you can avoid? Good. So we want to avoid all unnecessary foot movement. We want to secure metal objects, um, such as a canteen cup for making noise. And will want to avoid unnecessary talking. So by doing that, you wanna make sure you use your visual techniques um, to communicate. All right, so for our canteen cup right here, uh, usually, since I don't have my canteen cup, there's usually like the little metal sides that kind of bang and make noise. So what you're wanting to do, you wanna take your tape here and just grab a little strip. And then with the little like metal handles that are on the side, you just want to tape them down like so. That way it doesn't make any noise. And then um, I'll give everyone a chance later on to do that. But next we'll go over um, light discipline. So when you have a flashlight, uh, you want to make sure you have your little red disc. I have a red piece of paper right now because my red disc actually broke right before this. So we're kind of rolling with the punches. But in cases, um, you don't want to actually use this sheet of paper. Um, you could use your wet weather top or um, a poncho. And then um, you can use it like when you're writing in a notebook or whatever, you can cover yourself up like while you're writing and then 
um, later on I will be walking around to make sure to see um, no light shines through and as I said that's not the most ideal you'll want to have like the red light because it makes the light go a shorter distance and it's less noticeable um, some other things to keep in mind um, avoid smoking um, the little uh, lit end of the cigarette is actually quite noticeable from a pretty far distance plus the odor that um, cigarettes produce can easily be smelled by the enemy so moving on to the next thing uh, we're going to talk about litter discipline um apologize i lost my spot all right so lastly for litter discipline uh we'll have to establish a collection point for things such as empty food containers uh like mres ammunition cans and things like boxes or other trash that you may have um, then, before you leave the training area or the area that you're on mission, you'll want to verify that all litter has been collected in preparation to leaving. Uh, the importance of that is if you end up leaving any trash behind and the enemy finds it, they'll know that you're in a nearby area and we do not want that. Uh, so I have a litter collection point. I have a little trash can right here next to me. and. Um, so this is where I'll be putting my litter and then make sure I will take it out with me before I leave this training area. Any questions from anyone? All right, perfect. So I'll be giving everyone five minutes uh, to practice your noise discipline by taping down your canteen cup handles. And then you can practice your light discipline by writing in writing in your poncho or writing on your notebook inside your poncho using um, your flashlight. Um, and then I'll be able to verify that no light has escaped and then um, verify that you have a litter collection point um, created and that you have completely cleared it before leaving your training area for evaluation. Alrighty, if there aren't any questions, uh, you guys can begin training. Alrighty, well, five minutes are up. And one thing I would say um, is for evaluation, make sure that you are covering your light better so you receive a go on the station, okay? All right, so this will wrap up our training. And then for evaluations, um, or we'll begin evaluations at this time. Um, before we begin the evaluations, I will go over the conditions and standards one more time. Uh, so for conditions, you are a member of a mounted or dismounted element conducting a tactical mission and have been directed to comply with noise, light, and litter discipline. Enemy elements are in your area of operation. Standards prevent enemy from locating your element by exercising noise, light, and litter discipline at all times. For this training, you will be evaluated individually and you must receive a go on all three stations. All right, at this time, we will conduct evaluations. Does anyone have any questions? All right, perfect. So now we'll begin evaluating. All right, at this time, evaluations are done. Um, if you did not pass today, we will be conducting a retraining tomorrow at the same location here at the apartment um, at 0800. Um, make sure you have the same equipment and duty, uh, duty uniform. Uh, Re-evaluations will be conducted one hour later at 0900. Now, before we wrap up training, we will conduct an AAR. So what was supposed to happen today? 
um, what was supposed to happen. Um, we were supposed to train and show examples for noise, light, and litter discipline, and then individually evaluate you all on noise, light, and litter discipline. So what did happen today? I trained in showing examples for noise, light, and litter discipline, and then I individually evaluated you on noise, light, and litter discipline. So what are some things that could have been improved today? Perfect. Any sustains? Awesome. Um, some sustains were my risks were avoided. No injuries were, no injuries happened due to the coffee pot or um, no one got electrocuted from the outlets. Um, no one tripped over any cords or any of the bags lying around. Um, Alrighty, as you guys are leaving, um, be sure not to get burned by the coffee pot. As I mentioned earlier, it is still hot, so the potential of a burn is still at risk. Um, do not stick anything unnecessary into the outlets that are around the room. Um, you have the potential of getting electrocuted. Um, as you're exiting, make sure that you avoid any loose cords or backpacks on the ground. Um, be sure to maintain your situational awareness. And then at this time, all of your item, uh, for all of your items, we'll conduct another PCI check to make sure you have everything before you leave. Um, today, um, make sure you have your pen, paper, your flashlight, your poncho or wet weather top that you had, your canteen cups, and lastly, your tape. As long as you have everything, um, you're released today, so remember, if you have retraining tomorrow, it is at 0800, and then our re-evaluations will be conducted at 0900. Um, you're released, and this ends this period of instruction, and this training site is closed.